Hey, in this video I want us to talk about whether you should get an electric car and my own honest opinion about owning now an electric car for three years. As more and more of us want to live a more socially conscious lifestyle, it's really hard to make those big decisions like buying a car without like looking at a lot of reviews. So this is a video I've been wanting to make for a very long time and I've waited three years or two years to make this video just to make sure that you know I didn't like just give out some random information so let's get started before we get started let me clarify that you know I've been feeling really weird about my channel lately and I think I finally figured out why and it's because when I started making my more socially conscious videos my videos were about you should live a socially conscious life you should fight for the things you want and that was back in 2014 and that I started making those videos and now that it's 2019 that's no longer a new idea and I've kind of been sitting here thinking like what is next and I feel like maybe what's next for my videos is uh, following my own journey and trying to live a more socially conscious life and maybe we can share that together because obviously I'm not gonna be like putting up solar panels and like you know I don't own a house or anything like that so it's gonna be a slow journey and I want to start talking about um, more like socially conscious living in addition to of course to like my art videos and stuff I'm still trying to figure it all out you guys know I love making like weird ass videos about like random topics <laughs> week after week anyway so I just started so my car is a Fiat 500e it is not the sponsored video the Fiat I will take your sponsorship but really my dream sponsor is Tesla and I hope to one day want a Tesla. <laughs> anyway, so I have a Fiat. It's a tiny little car and I have the orange and white interior. In the exterior, it's like normal silver. And as you can tell, like right away, the only downside to having a cream interior is that you can see all the dust in the little crevices though. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I've never tried to like scrub this area or anything like that but you can tell right away that this is like has been used and that there's dirt so fyi don't get a cream interior if that bothers you so in addition to wanting to add it to the progress of society and moving our society towards a more socially conscious living situation like with renewable energy and stuff like that the biggest reason to get an electric car is that it saves you money <laughs> It actually sounds counterintuitive, but I saved money in three different ways um, from the time that I bought my Fiat. Number one, oh, I am gonna like clarify that I'm not a big luxury spender. I don't have the money. Okay, I, I live a comfortable, like I have what I need and when I want to splurge in a little thing here and there, I splurge. But I'm mostly very frugal because I, I grew up with just having enough and so um, I don't ever feel like, oh, let me just spend all my money, right? So I am always, um, my mom always taught me to save my money. So just putting it out there because what I did that was the biggest money saver was get a used car. So I went to CarMax and got this Fiat and the price tag was $9,999. Um, and if you, but if you get a brand new Fiat, it's $32,000 minimum, which is like a lot of money. Uh, I don't know, at least for me, I don't, I think about it uh, like I don't want to be paying all those monthly payments. For some people, that's okay, but I just don't want to be paying all those monthly payments. So I went with a um, used car, and CarMax is supposed to be have like a guarantee that they check the engine, everything's working. So my point being, like, yes. I didn't get a brand new car, but I saved like more than 20,000, almost 20, like some $17,000 and God knows what. I mean, my brand, my car looks brand new. It looked brand new when I got it because I've ran into a couple walls. <laughs> anyway, it looked brand new and it still looks brand new. The only faulty thing now that I fucking get really annoyed by it is that we get car washes um at work and the guy that did my car wash broke my hand like my armrest so i gotta get that fixed and um so anyway but other than that the car was in perfect condition and so that was the biggest way for me to save money because i felt like my car looked brand new it was one of those cars that like 
like rent a cars i think because it only had 34,000 miles in three years that you know it was a two, no, in four years because it was 2013 model and i bought it in 2017 so that's very little use and i feel like it it's in it's it was in excellent condition um before i got in it so that's the biggest money saver for me the second biggest money saver is of course no gas and with that comes also the peace of mind like i haven't looked at a gas station since 2017 and it feels so amazing it feels like i just took out a big chunk of my contribution to the fossil fuel industry out like just completely out i used to go put gas every other week or every two weeks if i didn't drive a lot many of you will probably go put gas every week and not only am i not driving now to the gas station but my the price of electric versus gas is so much lower i used to have a yaris and that's actually really good at saving gas and that would give me like 37 miles a gallon so an entire if i remember correctly my entire tank of gas would cost right under 30 dollars 30 dollars depending on how high or low the gas price was it was most of the time around 26 or 28 dollars when i went every other week or every two weeks with my electric car, I drive very little. I drive three miles to work, three miles back, three miles to the gym, three miles back. That's very little for somebody living in LA. So that's 12 miles a day. I used to charge it once a week. Now that I'm a little bit further out, I sometimes charge it twice a week, depending on um, how, like if I went home between the gym and work or, you know, if you're running errands. But let's say I charge it twice a week. The cost of charging my car per week if i go to the little like um charging stations like there's now charging stations on the streets there's one i personally have one at my works parking lot um and that's where i most of the time charge my car is usually around three to four dollars like the most expensive that i've ever paid to charge my car was five dollars and that's only because i went over the time limit and the charging stations that are actually now being really good about wanting you to keep it moving once your car is um once your car is charged they want to give you a notification they want to charge you more so that you move your car and the next person can actually come in and charge their car because i'm not gonna lie the first month to a year of having my car it was a big hassle to like figure out where am i gonna charge my car and not only where am i gonna charge my car um like where am i gonna find the station but is the station gonna be taken and i'm not gonna lie there is like a little curve like a little learning curve of adjusting your habits when it comes to like charging your car and your expectations about you know just charging your car in general and i'll talk about the downsides of having an electric car in a second but my, the point i was trying to make is that let's say i am now charging my car twice a week well i'm charging I actually happen to charge my car sometimes now at my new apartment which doesn't have a charging station but has an outlet <laughs> close to my car thank you thank you god and let's say i were to pay those three dollars because at the apartment i'm not paying that um don't tell anyone <laughs> so let's say i'm charging it twice a week and it was four dollars the more expensive option that would be eight dollars a week in two weeks that would be sixteen dollars versus twenty six dollars or twenty eight dollars that i used to pay so even on a weekly basis i'm saving money by charging my car yeah so to me that's actually and again it makes me feel like I made the right decision in buying an electric car and the third way in which i save money by having an electric car is that i don't have to pay for oil changes <laughs> it's something that i didn't even think about when i first got my car but there is no like oil change for electric cars so i'm not having to go like every four months or i forget how long it was and that was like some 60 70 dollars to put to do the oil change not to mention all the other like little things they're gonna try to sneak in there right the air filter this and that it's like now when i have a problem with my car like yesterday i went to change my tail lights i literally just went to the firestone changed my tail lights replaced the light bulb and like they didn't try to sell me an oil check <laughs> they didn't try to sell me like an air filter they were like oh your car is good like 
everything's in check, blah, 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 blah. Like that's the first time I ever stepped into a car auto shop kind of thing. And I was not told to upgrade to many things where versus like every single time I went to get an oil check, I would be asked to upgrade to like change my filters, change this car alignment, da, da, da. And it's like, I'm not saying it's because I have an electric car, probably the oil, the people at the oil checking places are trained to upgrade, to like try to upsell people for, with more and more services. So that's a, that's another little area that I, you wouldn't really necessarily think about, but it's also saving me money. Nobody tried to upsell me anything. So that's also a pretty cool way that you wouldn't really necessarily think about it right away, but that you're saving money by owning an electric car. Okay, let me get my kombucha. I actually have been like sick. Um, I've been having like some stomach issues. So I've been drinking kombucha for the first time in my life. And it's like, it, it's actually kind of amazing, like how good it makes me feel. And, but I also feel like I'm some like health nut from Santa Monica because this is like like the like the kind of people that will drink kombuchas like just like white ladies from Santa Monica that have like all the time in the world to care about all their health and fitness which I uh, fuck I'm totally a Santa Monica lady <laughs> anyway so the biggest downside to owning an electric car is all the logistics that you constantly have to be thinking about about where are you going to charge your car how far is my car gonna go am i gonna have to charge my car at my destination etc etc and like i said previously like the first few months to probably a year of owning my car i it was a it was a learning curve and it was mostly a mental adjustment because you never fear or at least i never feared about running out of gas there's a gas station like every two three blocks but it was a big like source of anxiety at first to me like oh my god i have 25 miles left on the on the you know capacity and like how far is that gonna take me what and i was i have anxiety as a human being so i was like i was always very like oh my god how am i gonna get there thank god that in the past two years i see more and more more charging stations popping up i see them on streets like on random street like business streets some gas stations now have charging stations i've seen them at walgreens and of course at workplaces like i mentioned so once my workplace back in 2017 had a charging station that was my biggest reason to get a car because then that's easy i charge at the at work i'm at work every day and back then in 2017 like i just couldn't charge my car in my apartment like it was i lived um like in the back of a, a residential home and so like you couldn't get the the court through the garden kind of thing i just didn't have like an easy access to an outlet so i could charge it at work um and then eventually i figured out okay i can charge my car at whole foods i can charge my car by one of the marshals and i could just go window shop or like shop for real <laughs> which is what mostly ends up happening and i can just um charge my car that way and of course if you go to whole foods if you go to marshall's or like malls most of them are going to be free because they expect you to be shopping at the shopping center. Um, but yeah, so that would say, I would say that's the biggest downside. Like recently, I went to see one of my teammates compete with um, jiu-jitsu in Long Beach. And I'm in West LA. And from West LA to Long Beach is only 25 miles. But immediately I'm like, oh shit, where am I going to charge my car? I drove to Long Beach one time before then and my my like mile capacity went from like 70 all the way down to like 37 when I got to Long Beach. So um, that's another thing. That's another issue that goes along with like this charging logistics thing. Your your car is gonna say, oh, it's good for a hundred mile capacity or I don't, I don't know if I'm using the right word, but uh, you know, your charge tells you your charge in miles. And let's say your car says that it's charged for hundred miles. Well, that's not, you can't exactly ex convert the 100 miles because not only are you driving 
and that's one type of mileage like you you know it's taking a, using energy in that way but you're also using the radio maybe you're using the ac maybe there's a lot of traffic and you're stopping and going stopping and going my car is really cool and like it charges itself when you brake if you brake slowly whenever you're on the freeway and you kind of like are going very easy on the gas pedal or i don't know what this is the like the, the electricity pedal <laughs> um and also if you're just going downhill and you're just letting the car run on its own it's slowly charging back but it's not enough that is just like the the numbers are gonna go up that much is only is i've never seen it go up much higher than like 10 miles because you're not gonna be going downhill for that long but it's just like i said it's just another kind of like logistics issue that you have to keep in mind now i've learned to like figure out my way around the logistics there's a lot of apps that help you find charging stations um and so you know when i i did go to long beach i happened to go the night before with my friend on a different car and so then what i did was like was like scope out if they had charging stations at the place when they're parked at the charging station of course it's a, a race that to make sure that you get the charging station and not someone else so i would just say that's the biggest inconvenience that you have to be fighting for <laughs> fighting for charging stations thinking of logistics and for me that's worth it because i feel like i have a positive a neutral to positive impact on the world and the environment i don't want to contribute to the fossil fuel industries any more than i have to so this is one easy way and like this little inconveniences is like i can deal with them the one biggest downside and the one reason that you may not want to get an electric car is if you drive for long distances because if i'm even having issues with like driving 25 miles 30 miles you can imagine that if you want to drive some 50 miles 60 miles it's going to be more of a nightmare situation so definitely if you're long if you're driving long distances i'll probably want to go with a hybrid because um my boss actually at work he has a hybrid and he drives long distances and has never reported any issues about oh i have to find a charging station because he can find a gas station so that's actually pretty cool as well additional potential downside to owning a vehicle that is electric is the maintenance that one is the one that i cannot really speak about because i've never done a car my fear is that it's gonna be more expensive but that's because it's a fiat not because it's an electric car is because it's a european car and they have they tend to have a reputation for it costing more to fix so that's the only thing that i can't really give my opinion on but all in all in my opinion next time you go to buy a car you should highly consider getting an electric car and many many cars now in 2019 are coming with so many more mileage uh range that's what it's called so like if you if you look at the tesla the new tesla has like wasn't it like 200 to 300 miles if not more like i want to say 600 but that, that sounds kind of crazy that sounds i don't know it's probably like the 300 300 mile range that is a lot that would save me like all the headaches of like all the considered long distances for me living in la but they're not really long distance i'm still within like la county like if i want to go from la to pasadena like for me that becomes like a 30 second headache of like okay well i gotta find a charging station at the end point just in case i'm low enough that i can't make that same number of miles back but if i had 300 miles like i wouldn't even think about it i would go to so many places and not even think about it so the cars now do have that capacity to make it to longer distances and um i think my cousin has a a Wolfs Volkswagen Golf and it also has like more than like a hundred mile range so you don't have to go all the way to more expensive cars like Tesla the technology is just getting a lot better quickly now that uh, it's becoming more like you know a trend to have like electric cars and I hope it becomes a normal um, because like I said I just I don't want to give any more money to the oil industry we already give them a lot of money with through the use of plastic so yeah that's my review of should you get an electric car if you want to live a socially conscious life absolutely get an electric car save your money buy a used car if you have to go to a place like carmax where they're like gonna verify that it works when you first buy your car you have a, a period of time where like if anything goes wrong you can take it back 
it's always so scary to buy secondhand cars and it's like you and another person and you're like okay well hope it works unless like you do all this like checks with a mechanic and i don't know for me it was just so much easier to go to carmax i didn't have to i don't like hassle haggling i that is like my pet peeve people that try to haggle you with, like regarding like prices i don't know i don't like dealing with any of that so to me um it was just easy to go and pay what the sticker says like great i'm out of here and i haven't had any issues with my car like i said the only time i had an issue with my car i noticed that it was the charger because it was at work and other people have been complaining about it too and the issue was that i felt like it was so strong it was overcharging my car and i could smell like burnt when i got in the car after that and after that i talked to the building manager and they're like okay yeah man, many other people have um, reported issues with the charger so and then it never happened again it happened twice and then it never happened again because i made sure to get my car out of there quickly so yeah that that's really all i have to say thank you for watching if you still are subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination and i hope you're ready to follow me on this like new chapter of my channel which i finally figured out thank god because ugh, it's been driving me insane <laughs> anyway thank you for watching see you next time